Hello, this is Larry Snow.、Uh, this time I will explain how to implement a pop up menu to your program. Whenever you use a computer or using an application, you often use、uh, you know, this kind of a right click pop up menu. This Eclipse or like this one, like this. So you can make this kind of a sub menu. And、uh, assign an action to each menu item like this or like this. And、uh, you can activate this pop up menu by right clicking or left clicking or pressing any key on your keyboard. So there are like a many ways to do it. But I think the most popular way to do it is. Right click, I think. Right click pop up menu. So this time we're going to implement a pop up menu which can be activated by pressing your right mouse button. And、uh, so, as you can see, I'm recording this in dark mode. Recently, I asked a question in my community tab and I asked if you like dark mode better than normal mode. And、uh, majority of you guys s e e m s to like dark mode better than the normal mode. So I decided to record this in dark mode. Hmm. Okay.、Uh, let's. Move this to the center, I think. Here. J table. Center. Okay, so the preparation is done. And、uh, so、I'm gonna make two samples for this video. And the one is、uh, this one. And with this one, so you can activate pop up menu by clicking anywhere on this window. So, this window itself will be the trigger for the pop up menu. That means we will implement the pop up menu to this window. Okay, so let's do it. So, this time、uh, we will use a class called a J pop up menu. I'm g o n n a name this as a pop up menu. Import. The next thing is、uh, we will add menu item to this pop menu. So, like this one, action one, two, three. And to do that, we will use a class called a J menu item. I'm g o n n a name this as item one. Equal new J menu item. Import. And let's type some text here. So, I don't know. Coffee. And、uh, we're gonna add this item one to this pop menu. Add item one. Okay, let's copy this and、uh, paste twice. So, item two, item three, and coffee, key, chai.、Mm. Okay. So, we have added these three items to this pop menu. So, now we want to display this pop menu. So, to do that,、uh, we're gonna type like this pop menu dot show. And bracket. And inside of this round bracket, we're gonna type three parameters. The first one is component, which invokes, which activates this pop menu. So this time, window. And the second one is x, and the third one is y, coordinate. So you can type any number you want. Like 
and this is just for testing so I think this is okay for now so let's check this okay so now we are seeing this pop-up menu coffee tea chai but nothing happened even if you click it but it's okay for now okay but uh, what we want to do this time is we want to display this pop-up menu you know when you click right mouse button and also we want to display this pop-up menu where your mouse castle is so that's what we're gonna do next okay so first we're gonna add mouse listener to this window so window window dot add mouse listener and uh, initialize mouse listener here import so round bracket curly bracket and uh, add these methods so but we we will only use this one mouse method uh, mouse pressed method so we won't use these other methods and here so inside of this mouse pressed method first if statement and uh, uh, since we want to use right mouse button swing utilities dot is right mouse button and uh, event is e so this means if you pressed right mouse button so again op menu dot uh, show and the window dot and x and y but this time we will type like this e dot get x and also e dot get y so since this is a mouse listener and getting this e as a mouse event so this means x coordinate of your mouse and this is y coordinate of your mouse so this way it automatically detects where your mouse cursor is and uh, display this pop-up menu so let's check it okay so let's click your right mouse button so like this like this like this anywhere so whenever your mouse cursor is so this pop-up menu shows up okay and finally let's add action to these items so we're gonna use action listener so let's implement action listener action listener and import and also let's select this unimplemented method for this action listener this one action performed and uh, we don't need this line anymore okay and so let's add this action listener to these three items so uh, item one add action listener and uh, this and also let's add action command and set okay uh, wait ah, okay and uh, whatever copy okay let's copy this paste and uh, uh, key and the chai and uh, also this one two two three and three okay and finally let's create some result here so first let's get uh, action command equal uh, e dot get action
action command. I don't know, whatever I drink, T2, actually, I really love chai, this is true, I really love chai, I drank chai every morning when I was in India, and uh, I became a big fan of chai, anyway, I think this is it, so I think this is done, so let's check it. Okay, let's click coffee, I love coffee, tea, I drink tea too, and the chai, actually I really love chai. Okay, so this tutorial is basically done, but uh, maybe some of you want to, you know, display this pop-up menu only when you click on a certain location it's not anywhere on this window but uh, you know like only this part so i'm gonna add an image like this and uh, so only when you click on this image this menu shows up so menu doesn't show up if you click around here or here or here 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 but here so it shows up so that's what we're gonna do. We just arrange this code just a little bit. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Okay, so let's make a J label for the image. Uh, image label. And, okay, and also let's disable this default layout set layout no. okay and let's place this image label on this window set bounds uh, 300 300 200 Okay, and uh, uh, let's make a resource folder. So right click on the project and the new and uh, source folder and uh, press. I prepared this image. So we're gonna copy this to this press folder. Okay, so let's make image icon. Icon uh, equal new image icon and uh, get class no. get class loader dot get resource and here so let's type this name so uh, chest 201 dot png and import okay and let's set this icon on this j label so image label set icon icon dot out image label hey okay uh, maybe change this to, I don't know, 200. Mm. 
Okay, looks good. And where's the text? Or maybe we are, ah, yeah, we are. This image is hiding the text, I think. So yeah, let's, let's change this. So delete this one. And uh, okay, also set bounds and uh, 300, uh, 300, and uh, I don't know, 400, 100. Let's see. Ah, okay. Uh, like this. Yeah, looks good. And also, I think the text is a bit too small, so. And also, I'm gonna add, change the font size. Finally, so uh, let's change this one. So this window to image label. Yeah, as you can see, so this, you know, the first parameter is component invoker. If you want to display the pop-up menu only when you click on a certain space, then uh, so you can change the component here. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so now, oops, why? Still shows up. Uh, wait a minute, ah, this one, sorry. And also let's change this one. Uh, image label, I think. So we, we, we need to add this mouse listener to this, not window itself, but image label. Uh, this should be okay, I think, I hope. All right, so yeah, I'm right clicking, but uh, nothing happens, nothing happens. But here, yeah, this happens. So this pop-up menu shows up only when you click on this image. Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching and see you again, bye.